And so to get back to your question of looking at stuff, uh, Rodney King. Uh, and I called Ralph in from Europe. I said, man, I just need to check something. I didn't, I didn't see them. I said, I got a problem with two white folks, first time they ever been into America, and they just happened to check in the hotel where this beating's taking place. So three days later, he called me and said, you need, we need to get out of here. Said, yeah. said, you know, it was two other people in the car with him. I said, yeah. He said, they died mysteriously. Mm -hmm. And he said, the weird part about it, Rodney King had been sentenced by a judge in L.A. to eight years in jail, and we can't figure out why he was out in the street three weeks later. Mm -hmm. I said, let's move. Mm -hmm. Let's move. Mm -hmm. And then I saw it seeing. We checked the two people They're from Australia, heavily connected to the secret police in Australia, mm. heavily connected to the CIA. How do you, with your camera, never been in a country before, film it, and then know to take it where it's 7 o'clock L.A. time is running all over the world. How do you know that? Yeah, yeah, but, I mean, with the King thing, it was the verdict. It wasn't the tape. That uh, you're that. not hearing me. You're not hearing me. See, the problem is you trying to talk with your shit and you don't know nothing instead of listening. Huh? I'm listening. Okay? No, no. I get $40,000, man, and I damn motherfucker. Talk. You went to college. You didn't talk when the professor was talking. Okay, I apologize. Because you bring it. No, you don't apologize to me. I knew that when you come in here. I let you in because you'd have said New York Times, I don't let you in. I've said anybody come in here, and normally I don't do these interviews. I do the bullshit shit you want to hear mm -hmm. and let you leave. Okay, I'm huh? listening. I'm listening. You got me tuned in. I'm tuned in. Okay. okay. So what was the question you just asked? No, my, my question was, like, the, the videotape, the existence of the videotape was the, the fuse, but what sparked it was the verdict. The no, fact no, that... I know that more than you. Okay. Huh? I know that more than you. Okay. What they didn't tell you, hmm? what they didn't tell you, is just read what paper that is so you can hear you on the camera. Okay. Los An uh, on the, on the New York Times, May 10th, 1992. Okay. What's the headline say? Los Angeles police differ sharply with prosecutors on arrest totals. Now, read the first sentence. Reflecting... Confusion that has characterized the city's response okay, to violence. Okay, now go down to where you see I got that marked. Police officials said today... Slow, that, slow, slow, so my grandmother's listening. All right. Police officials said today they arrested 18,000 people from, the when, from Wednesday night, April 29th, the day the riots began, through this morning. But prosecutors said that they could not account for as many as 10,000. That's arguing, stealing. You think it was something else. Ten, these ain't black folks talking. This ain't the, These are... Cops talking and the prosecutor talking. Now read that sentence right but after that and listen what listen what Han says. We don't know where these people are. Wait a minute now, this is what I say. We don't know where these people are. Said James K. Han, the Los Angeles City Attorney. He's the mayor now. See how the payoff comes? Mm. It's a mystery now to a lot of people in the system right now. Okay, that's all. That's that's my job. Okay. Huh? That's my job. And I usually don't share it with people. Because, mm -hmm. like I told you before, my mama hears the shit. I'll be saying she called police on me. Huh? Mm. And so that's what I'm telling you now. So, about six months ago, I'm in LA and uh, Carl Nelson, who invented the, on the Stevie Wonder station, he invented the uh, The Morning Show, the biggest show. Mm -hmm. In L.A., mm -hmm. talk show. Mm -hmm. And so then he left and went to Florida. So now he's back out there celebrating the 20th anniversary of that show. Mm -hmm. So I go on on Friday. Just talking about it. I was out there for something. And he said, Dick, uh, 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 you be here Monday. You ought to come in. I'm, I'm interviewing... Uh, Rodney King, he got a new book coming out. So you better do it quick, cause he be dead before the week's over. Wow. Okay. How'd I know? Cause I got the information. 
the woman in the house where he died, his girlfriend, she was one of the jewelers when he got that $3 million kick out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the neighbors said they heard screaming and hollering. They said, she said, he just drowned. <laughs> A brother who can't swim don't put no swimming pool in his house. <laughs> and so what I'm saying is, is when you know this, you can smell it. And then you see it. Right. And so you look at it. And then I pushed the right button. I was in, I was in, uh, you had a brother here in Philly mm, that had a, a, a health product. So Father Clemens came to me and said, man, you ought to be part of this. And I said, no, oh, man. It's nothing ate. They heal anything. Right. So when the sniper was out there in D.C., he's one of the brothers, the brother from Philly that was killed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, okay. He I just understand. went. Ken. Huh? Uh, Ken. Um, Bridges. Ken Bridges, yes. He was, he just went to North Carolina to, to talk to uh, the black uh, uh, hair product guy. Yeah, he had a group. Um, yeah. I forgot the name yeah. of the group, but Ken Bridges. Um, and so. Uh, my tie. My yeah, my tie. So he got a. Hundred million dollar bridge loan, and he was going to buy eighty five percent. Eighty five percent of the. She was uh, in uh, British Columbia, okay. Guyana. Okay. Pow, that's when he put the hit on him. Because if you look at that route, he came back. That's not the route you come back to Philly from North Carolina. <laughs> you see it. Then you look at the, the guy, you remember the head of that whole investigation of the sniper? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Was a black sheriff. Hmm? Moose. Yes. In DC, yeah. No, 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 outside. Montgomery County. Montgomery County. So they made the hit in Montgomery County so he could take over the whole thing. Hmm? Moose. And then they eventually, Muhammad, John Muhammad. Him and John Muhammad was in the same National Guard unit. In Portland, Oregon. <laughs> now, the reason that's important ain't that many Negroes in Portland, Oregon. How could you forget that? Huh? See how it works? And he was the one telling the FBI agency, just look for a white man. Everything you heard, every witness said it was a white man in a white pickup truck. They was to get two black folks in a raggedy car that sleep on a parking lot after they bought them some church's chicken. Huh? Mm -hmm. They kidnapped both of them six months before and put them in a warehouse and let them go. We ain't heard none of them talk. <laughs> none of them talk. Hmm? So this is the game. When the, uh, when they, you look at the, the September the 11th, we're the only country that, when we give you the date, we give you October the 12th, September. And so why they come up with 911? That's the emergency call. Mm -hmm. So anytime you say it, you tell your brain to be scared. That's where they are. That's how close, how much research they've done. Right? So I'm in New York. September the 10th, September 11th. So I called my wife. I said, well, you got me sleeping tonight. She said, you're not your friend called from Paris and say, don't spend the night in New York tonight. Wow. I get on a train, go to DC. I get there at four o'clock, I call the dude in Paris. How you know I was in New York, punked. Said, we picked you up on the satellite, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so then I go walk and I come back and the other one then went down. I called back. He said, you owe me one, punk. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See, this had work. It's a club. Yeah. Huh? Y'all go places, y'all see stuff, and you know when it's been spliced, and when it's not spliced, you know it's been tampered with. I do the same thing with the whole human thing. 
Mm. I've been out here so long and had the money to bring in the top people. I need you to look at this. Look at this. Huh? I had Steve Jack. I said, I need you to find me the number one authority on breast milk. I sit around and look for shit to do, man. Because mm. I had the money. Number one authority on breast milk. So when he comes back, he said, it's two people. <laughs> Out the university, both of them's equal. I said, well, tell them a million dollars a piece. He said, and when you know they're men, hmm, see how it works? Mm -hmm. The number one authority on breast milk is a man. So I bring him in, take him to a black hospital, Flint Goodrich down in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. So they keep saying to me, why are you giving us this money to do this? What you looking for? I said, I don't know if I'm looking for it. I wouldn't have you here. Hmm? I don't know what I'm looking for. You think I'm that stupid? I'll pay you this money to find something that I know? What I found out, man, was mind boggling. You got a child. Yes. When your wife would be nursing the baby, the other breast would leak. That's not milk. That's all in part impurities. If you smoke, this nicotine. If she drank this alcohol, if she work in a place where people smoke, all the chemicals that's in the food, that leaks out so the baby can't get it. Hmm? Wow. Hmm? So we go on every day to that. What you looking for? So I, I, I didn't know. So as they was leaving, I said, here's what I'm looking for. My mother's, 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 mother fed. She was the nanny for white women. You all got enough sense to know what's in milk. Hmm? Milk was for humans. You don't give a kitten dog milk. Hmm? Yeah. I said the number one cause, the only cause of crib death is cow's milk. If we took cow's milk and breast milk from a woman and put it in a glass, you'd have to add 300 times more water with cow's milk to make it look like mother's milk because the number one important ingredient in milk is not calcium. You get more calcium eating a piece of newspaper. Hmm? And so cow's milk, the number one thing in milk is called casein. Casein makes the bone strong. So cows have, have enough casein to make the cow enough bone strength to deal with a thousand pounds or more. Mother's milk, just enough for a maximum of 175 pounds. So when you drink cow's milk with that casein, it becomes glue and shuts it down and some folk ain't there. They die in the crib. They call it crib death. I mean, we don't know what else. That's where every nation on the planet that would never be stupid enough to give their child cow's milk. Huh? That would never have never had crib death. Only the countries in the world out there give cow's milk. It's crib death. So I know I just put that in my file. Files here, but I was looking to say. Because I know milk. I know more about it than you all do. Mm. I say, how long can my mama's, 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 mama nurse white children before y'all become niggas? That's what I'm looking for. Mm. That's all. About 15 years later, they said, thank you for what we learned. So we got back here and got a $50 million grant from the government to pursue your question. And I'm calling you now to tell you this happened. Mm -hmm. So you just listen to the white children, watch the styles change. What used to look like you looks like me now. Listen to the music, how loud they play the music in the whole scene. Mm -hmm. Two million people come out in the field and get some guitars. <laughs> So I've been knowing this. Hmm. Been knowing. And so what I'm saying is, is when you sit and look at 
September the 11th. Them folks, they say they did that, never flew a plane in their life. They say they just was, uh, they learned how to simulate this and all that. And here's a paper here, it say flight school owned by Warren Buffett that they went to. Yes. So he a thug and a dog and a tramp. Flight school owned by Warren Buffett. That's right. And, the pilot, and they only asked to learn how to fly the plane, not land it. Yeah. You hear? Yes. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's what he said. Yeah. See, that's another trick. Hmm? Why would I go? You know the guy on the plane that... They crashed right here by Pittsburgh when he called his mama, you know, calling on the plane. Mm -hmm. Hey, mom, this is Dick Brown. You never give your first and last name to your mother. See, they always mess up because they're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mom. You're right. <laughs> Richard, you're going to give your first and last name to your mother, huh? And then you look over here and it says, Flight school says FBI trained suspects prior to hijacking. FBI. Hmm? See here? So everybody is walking through this maze and, 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 uh, and the game, the game, the game. So you just look at all the papers, all the papers, and then you say, okay, and then I got people I can talk to.